Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial on Elicit, the AI research assistant, which is going to help you to improve your literature review process, whether you're a student or a researcher. Okay, this is designed to basically help you find, summarize, and extract data from academic sources. So I'm just going to walk you through the main features, okay? And the first thing that we must do, of course, is to sign up, okay? So let's go to elicit.com, which is the main page here. And you can sign up with an email address or with a Google account, which is what I'm, what I'm going to do here. And now you have to provide a full name, which in my case is going to be just I tester. Okay, and cool. And now you have to select what kind of plan you want to as you want to choose. Actually, okay, I actually recommend going with the basic plan first because it's a free plan. Okay, which is amazing actually. But if you are in need of more, you know, extraction or more queries or more data to extract, you should update to a plus or to a pro. Okay, so let's continue with this. Now, let's get to the fun part, which is asking a research question. We are inside of the main page here, and there is a text box that says, ask a research question. This is where you type in your query or your question. For example, we're going to ask about what are the impacts of climate change on coral reefs? Okay. And it's going to take a while to process actually and after we're ready let's click on this button here and now we need to select what kind of answer we actually want if we want a fast answer a balanced answer or a comprehensive answer the thing with this is that you're going to waste more tokens if you choose either a balanced or a comprehensive so i recommend that if you are not really trying to go very in depth just go to fast okay and what this is going to do is this is going to go to work and it's going to find relevant papers from his database of over 125 million papers, which is great. So let's wait for a second. This is gonna take usually less than a minute or a minute and a half, depending on the on the complexity on the question and the number of papers associated with it. Now, after a couple minutes, the report is basically gonna be ready, which is gonna work just like a normal paper, okay? You have your title, your abstract, the methods, and the results, and then the references, okay? So this structure is just like a normal paper. And what's cool about the list is that you can see all of the papers that El that Elicit actually use in the screen paper section here, and also all of the papers that Elicit originally tried to gather, okay, or tried to use, okay, but then it kind of filtered them into this screen paper section, okay. So let's actually go to the screen paper section, which includes ten papers, and if we go to details, we can see. <clears throat> all of these is from each paper, okay, and the authors, publication date, a link, okay, if we just click on here, for example, okay, so this is amazing, actually, so if we go to the source here, we can get the link, as you can see, amazing, and you also have a quick summary of the, of each of these papers here, basically, and how relevant they are to your specific investigation, okay, given by this score, and by this exclude or include, basically, okay, which is amazing. And you also have different criteria that they use to mark these papers in terms of, you know, uh, the status subject, the measure outcomes, uh, and some different categories that they're trying to evaluate, okay? And depending on the color, they are going to get like a score or like on a, or like other score, okay? Which is going to be either relevant to your uh, investigation or not, all right? So this is cool. Something that you can also do, by the way, is you can modify the score threshold. So only papers above this certain score are going to be included in your report, okay? So, for example, now it's set to 4.1, but you can set it lower on an or higher, okay? If you upgrade to actually to a, to a pro plan, all right? So, yeah, this is something that you can always do. Now, let's return to our original report here. Now, something that is very interesting here is actually the extracting specific data. Okay, now suppose you're doing, for example, like a meta-analysis in this case of the impact of climate change on coral reef. You want to you wanna find basically like the effect sizes of different status, okay? So we can ask in this chat directly here. We can ask, what are the effect sizes reported in status for the climate change on coral reefs? And we can just click on enter. So now Elizabeth basically is going to try to look for papers that mention the effect sizes, which is the question that they were asking, and try to extract those values for you. It is not perfect, of course, but it can save a lot of time because it has an accuracy of 90%, okay? So just remember that you always have to check the original papers. So it actually answered our question, all right? So always make sure to actually check your original sources, the one that Elizabeth actually gives you. Now, once you're ready, you can generate a file with this report in PDF format or also in LaTeX format, okay, which is going to be actually great. Now, some other functionalities that uh, this 
software has is that it can find papers based off on this specific topic, okay? So instead of, you know, instead of if we want to get a report of the effects on climate change, we can also ask for papers on that topic and we can do the report or the research ourselves, all right? So that's also very important. Okay, we can just click here and we can ask a research question and it's going to find the papers for us. Something that we can also do is if we have a paper that is maybe too complicated, too long, or we just want to save a lot of time, we can extract data from a certain paper that we have in a PDF file, okay? So you can here upload your papers and it's going to give you like a summary and you can even ask questions, okay? <clears throat> now, the free plan is pretty limited in terms of the number of reports that you can generate. You're only going to be able to generate two, so I recommend that if you really use this enough, just upgrade to, you know, another plan so that you can actually make more reports okay but yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you so much